Hey everybody, hope you're uh, having a good day this Monday. Uh, I just came back from celebrating my dad's birthday this evening, and I've come back with some good news, um, and that is sort of what is launching me into this video, which actually a lot of it is rather sad and upsetting. Um, but I'm going to talk about family. Um, why? Well, because family is obviously very important in terms of a transition. Um, I was lucky enough to not be in a situation where I um, was like immediately disowned by my immediate family. And I am not in a situation where I live with family and therefore could be kicked out. Um, I'm very privileged in that regard, but actually um, the family situation has been really, really catastrophic. For me, I've spent like countless amount of hours crying about this so hopefully I've run out of tears and I won't have a meltdown while I talk about this but you know as I've mentioned in a previous video um, I always felt very isolated and not really like I fit in my body and I was always tomboy and this and that but you know I never really vocalized what I was going through and so as a result, when I decided to start telling my immediate family, uh, I was rather nervous. Um, so my siblings, uh, who are, they're almost five years younger than me, they're twins and they're off at totally separate colleges. Um, so I just called them and it seemed to initially go well just because at the time I was coming out as gender fluid and I was talking about you know potential for transitioning but things didn't really seem so immediate to them I told my parents in person um, at their apartment and I was so freaking nervous but um, I don't know, it sort of just seemed like they didn't really all take me very seriously, and I think that's why they acted so okay. Um, because now things are a total disaster. Um, I, for my extended family, um, I am very close with my grandmother. She's like the matriarch of the entire family. And I intended to tell her in person. I worked on this whole therapy session about it, and... Uh, I literally, when I was driving on my way to tell her, I actually thought I was either going to, like, throw up all over my car or pass out. I almost just turned right around. But I went, and unfortunately, she accidentally double booked, and therefore, um, I didn't get to tell her. And I pretty much totally panicked after that point. It sort of just seemed like such a, um, like, it was just burning within me that I needed them to know because I had, had I had at that point decided yes I'm a trans man and I'm going to transition um, and obviously other than dressing masculine which I've been doing more and more and more for years um, you know I wanted to take hormones and talk about surgery that surgery was actually the first thing that I thought about I thought hormones was further but ha uh, funny I'm now on hormones first, um, so I've come quite a long way, but I wrote my extended family a very, very brief email, um, basically saying, hey, this is what I'm going through, looking at, you know, um, starting with surgery and hormones and this and that. It was extremely short and very to the point. Um, it was just sort of what I needed to do. I was really, really nervous. To me at the time, it felt like there was literally no other way to go about it. It was not received well. Um, my grandmother at this point never wants to see me again. 
I would say three quarters of the family is not talking to me. Even the grandkids mostly are um, just sort of avoiding me. Um, I have sort of spoken to a couple people here and there. I received some emails that were some, you know, nice and others were more concerning and then others were absolutely horrible. Um, but it's really messed up a lot of things and put a lot of pressure and hurt on me and also made my friends look amazing because my friends have been, you know, as supportive as they can while they too process this, but they had a totally different reaction. And so it's like with my family having a horrible reaction, my friends, it just becomes more obvious how lucky I am and how important Chosen Family is, and I will talk about Chosen Family. Um, my brother is having probably the hardest time in my immediate family for many reasons, but I'm not going to broadcast him here. Um, and my sister actually, for a while, was being like the, the rock I thought. She was like the one supportive person in the family. Um, so it's it's been really rough. I had a really, really horrible, the ho most horrible um, interaction and session with my mother last week that um, led me to feel like death because of how much I had been crying. But today, when I went to go spend time with my parents for my dad's birthday, um, I haven't really had too much interaction with my dad regarding this and nothing really bad. So, you know, and he's my dad and I love him. So I just, I went and I promised I was going to put everything aside. <clears throat> uh, even though that was kind of tough to do um, and just sort of like ignoring the issue. But things seem to be going reasonably well and whatever and eventually... Um, things came up. And in between this time, I've not spoken to my mom for days, because she hasn't really responded. I sent her a video that was an interview with one of my friend's moms about him being trans, and I sent that to my mom in hopes that that would help them, and also to show, you know, very much how supportive and rational she is, and basically talking about the fact that, you know, if, if a parent isn't going to help their kid through this transition, they're going to find a means to do it anyway. And that sort of happened. I realized that my parents were not going to support me through my top surgery, and I found a way to do it all on my own with um, one of my best friends, and again, chosen family, awesome. Um, and then tonight, I asked my mom um, a, a question about nurses because part of my plan was that I was going to, therefore, actually have the surgery and recover here at home and just have a nurse um, for a while. And I found out that it would be covered by insurance and all of that. And she can remember, and long story short, we ended up having this brief conversation about my surgery, and they sort of seem to, like, have a total 180, and long story short, I ended up leaving their apartment with, like, an actual date, like, one or two dates that actually work in June, um, to book surgery, and they're gonna let me take my cats and go recover there, and my best friend can come and help over there, and I'm not gonna have to worry about a nurse. And I'm just... I'm honestly completely shocked, but I'm trying to just ride the wave. I feel like it hasn't even sunk in yet, but like tomorrow, I'm going to call the surgeon who I intend to make my surgeon, Alexis Hazen at NYU Langone, and I'm going to freaking book this surgery. So my point of this whole story, other than just ranting about briefly what's going on in my family and how that's been hard, is that it's a very big thing to process and as much as it's your journey it's your family's journey 
And especially if you're like me and you have a big family, everybody's going to have different feelings and totally different, <coughs> excuse me, directions. But things do get better. Um, you know, do I expect that my 92 year old grandmother is going to pull through this? Um, I, I don't know if she's, that she's, I firmly believe pretty much that, you know, this is just going to be tough for her to grasp, but other people in the family hopefully will come around. It seems already like my parents obviously are coming around to a certain degree, so my recommendations are, one, be patient, two, have take the time to listen to what they're going through and to three educate i send articles videos pamphlets anything that i think will be helpful actually p flag has some really awesome materials for family members highly recommend sending those those are some of the things i did and honestly four is just like time they need time and even though it feels, like for me especially, it feels like I've been going through this my whole life and that I've been consciously aware of this and thinking about going through this process for the past six years that they've only been, you know, in the loop since October. Um, so my point is that I'm hoping that your families are obviously supportive, but if they're not immediately supportive, don't lose hope. Um, you know, it's it can get better, and I hope that within time my family will get even better, but in the meantime, I get to be really excited about hopefully booking surgery tomorrow, which I'm totally going to update you on, because uh, I guarantee you that I'm going to be like touchdown screaming and like dancing around um, wherever I am at that given moment. So hopefully I'm home so that I can properly freak out as much as I would like. But um, yeah, I'm really fucking excited. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still getting over this sinus infection. But um, thank you for listening and I hope that um, I hope that you can work with your families to make them of support. Um, and I will do a different video on chosen family because they deserve their own. Alright, thanks for listening and can't wait to update you.